sneaky ways that women test your confidence. Fellas, women are testing your confidence subconsciously. They don't usually know that they're doing this all of the time. And if you fail these tests, then chances are she's probably gonna walk away and lose attraction for you. So what I'm gonna be covering in this video is I'm gonna be covering seven ways that women do this. I'm gonna talk about the wrong way to handle this, which will probably get her to lose interest to you, and the right way to handle this, which will make her more attracted to you, okay? So we're gonna start with the first one, which is probably the easiest test to pass, the disqualifying test. And basically that's when maybe you're out on a date, Maybe you are at a, met her at a bar or something like that. Things are going really, really well. You guys are talking back and forth. Uh, I've had this happen to me dozens of times where you bring her back and she says something like this, like, just so you know, we're not having sex tonight. <laughs> what does that mean, guys? It usually means it's probably gonna happen. She just wants to know that you don't only want her for sex or you're okay with it not going down and you're not gonna get super angry or flustered or irritated. It's the test to see what things are gonna be like when that happens because women always want a way out. They always want a guy who, yes, they want to have sex with them, but it's not the most important thing for them. They can still maintain their masculinity and confidence if it doesn't go down. So all he's looking for is some reassurance. All you gotta do is, of course. That's all you gotta say to that. Give her a smile, lead her in, and then it'll probably go down the way you want it to. Now, if it doesn't, you gotta maintain the frame that you set before. Anytime you lash out, anytime you get angry or frustrated during a rejection period, this is another test that I'm gonna cover in step number two, which is the apathy test, okay? An apathy test, I've heard some people call it this, don't know if I would use that word, but it's basically when she's acting disinterested or it's a passive rejection, okay? So the example that I gave above, maybe she turns you down for intimacy, you get all angry and flustered and you say, well, you should have known what was gonna happen when we came back, like blah, 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 and all this stuff. No, that's, that's super low value behavior, okay? A guy who has a lot of options, a guy who's comfortable, relaxed, and confident knows that he can get sex. This is not like too big of a deal for him. So when he gets turned down for it, he's like, yeah. He shrugs his shoulders and he's like, all right, no big deal. And then he goes back to whatever it is he was doing. So that's the right way to handle tests like that. Now, this may come up again when texting. Let's say you're texting back and forth and she gives you a passive rejection, okay? Meaning like you made plans for the weekend and then she hits you with a text, maybe something like this. Maybe she says like, hey, sorry, this weekend is looking pretty busy for me. I'll let you know if I can make it this weekend. Anyone who's been dating for more than two seconds knows that when a woman tells you, hey, I'll let you know, guess what she's probably not gonna do? She's probably not gonna let you know, okay? Now, another guy, a bad example of a guy's response might be to, oh, well, what about Saturday? Are you free Saturday? We can do Monday too. How's Tuesday sound for you? He's already trying to confirm and get it. This behavior shows her that you're desperate and you're really trying to lock in a time because you're worried that you might not be able to get another opportunity at this, okay? She wants to know that, yeah, you do wanna see her, but at the same time, like, it's not the most important thing in your life. Now, again, most of these tests are done subconsciously, all right? She might legitimately be busy that weekend. She just feels like, eh, maybe he's not a super big priority for me right now. And if you show her that you're desperate to meet up with her, then what you're telling her is that she was right in her assessment. A better way of responding to that instead of trying to make plans is like, hey, no problem. Let's just plan for another time. Have fun. And then basically what's gonna happen is she's gonna see your Instagram story. She's gonna see you having an amazing time. She's gonna see all that stuff. And she's gonna be like, you know what? I probably should have made this guy more of a priority. And it's more likely that she's gonna hit you up. Now, I can't guarantee that she is gonna reach out after that. What I can guarantee is that you're gonna have a better opportunity for that. In all of these, hopefully you are seeing that you have to have the ability to walk away. A big part of these tests is to see your confidence in yourself, the respect that you have for your own being. And that segues very nicely into test number three, which is the jealousy test. You most commonly see this when women, let's say you're at a party and you're talking. Um, I had a situation like this happen a while ago um, when I was single. And basically this girl that I was you know, talking to, she obviously was really into me. You know, We had been talking back and forth. She'd followed me around to a couple different places. And then she goes off and she starts talking to some guys. And I can tell she wants me to run over there 
and start talking and being involved in the conversation and compete with her. Whenever somebody gives you a jealousy test, if you try and compete in the rules that she has given you in this game, you cannot win. The only way to win this game is to not play. And so I didn't do that. I let her talk to that guy, you know? And then she came over and said something. She's like, hey, me and this guy are gonna go get a drink or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, do you wanna come with us? And I said, no, I'm not coming. She's like, oh, well, why not? And I'm like, cause I'm cool here. Look, listen, if you like that guy, like I totally get it. You should, guys should go have a drink. He looks like a really cool, nice guy. By the way, anytime you talk up another guy <laughs> and say, oh, he's a really nice guy. He looks great for you. She's immediately gonna like him less. <laughs> so uh, she, I did that. And at first you went away and talked to him for a little bit. And there was a moment there where you don't know if she's actually gonna come back. But lo and behold, about a minute later, I hear a tap on my shoulder and it's her, and we went home that night together. So that's the kind of test that you wanna pass by not competing. So the way to not pass that test is to compete in the game that she has made for you. The way to pass that test is to not play at all. This also segues nicely into test number four, which is the friends test. Very frequently, I will get clients, and I just had this recently, with a guy who was going out with his girl a few times, she seemed like she really liked him, but he was like really into her. And one day he was having trouble hanging out with her. She said, hey, um, I know I haven't been free for a while, but me and my friends are going to this event. Do you wanna come with us? We can pick you up. Now, most guys, when they are in this position with a woman who they're really into, they will go to that thing. They will go to that thing. And they'll be like, yeah, sure. Hanging out with you and your friends sounds like a great time. I am telling you. Do not go to that thing. I don't care how fun it sounds. I don't care how confident you feel with your own interaction. Don't go to that thing. This doesn't mean that when you two start becoming boyfriend and girlfriend that you can't go to things with her friends. But in general, just know that every time that you go to a thing with her friends, she will lose attraction for you. And if the relationship is strong, she will stay with you because of it. But at the beginning, there's a good chance she won't. Even if she was the one that invited you, do not go. This is what's gonna happen when you go to that thing, okay? And this is what happened to him. Basically, they were hanging out, they were talking, everything seemed like it was good. He didn't know any of the friends. They had a bunch of conversations that he couldn't participate in. He wasn't leading the uh, interactions at all. He was just kind of following them around. They were typically in a line. He was at the back of that line. He was tagging along and was kind of, it, it felt like she was babying him and taking care of him. A woman never wants to feel like that with a guy. And the thing about a lot of these women who, who say this is because they don't understand their own psychology, they will say this thing that they think is good. So this is a test that they don't even know that they're giving you, all right? Do not go to this thing. Say, sorry, can't make it, but I would like to see you at XYZ. You have to control the frame a little bit more and meet on the terms that are gonna benefit you, okay? This is not gonna benefit you at all. It's not gonna benefit either of you. Okay? She's going to lose attraction for you. She's not going to be into it. Her friends are going to judge her. All these things are going to happen, so don't do it. Speaking of frame, number five is the frame test. The frame test, quite simply, is when, let's say you're texting back and forth with her, and you say, hey, let's go get sushi on Saturday night at 7 p.m. You pick the sushi place, you pick the time, she's agreed to it, and then a few days before, she's like, hey, I'm actually not really feeling sushi, or maybe even the day of, actually. It's more likely the day of. Um, I remember I had one girl who did this, where she said the day of, she's like, hey, listen, I'd rather go to this place. It's a lot nicer, it wasn't sushi, it wasn't what we had planned, and I had a choice then. I could either say, hey, I just really want this date, I'm scared about losing her, so I'd rather just go do the thing that she likes, and hopefully it'll end up well. No, that is not what you do. If you do that, you are losing frame. You are showing her that it is okay for her to push you around and make last minute changes. You guys made those plans. You made those reservations. I made those plans. I made those reservations. So what do you think I did? I said, hey, that place sounds great. I'd love to take you there another time. Let's stick with the reservations we got and I promise you'll love it. So we went there, we had a great time. 
and I never ended up taking her to the other place, but <laughs> the date ended up going very, very well, okay? What most guys do, and every time I've seen a client of mine succumb to her altering the plans or changing the frame to do what she wants to do, it seems like the date goes really well, and then the text messages start coming less and less and less, and they just fade out, and they're wondering, I don't know what happened. It's because you let her control the frame and she lost respect for you. And the last one is the leadership test. This is probably the easiest one to pass. Actually, it's the second easiest one to pass after the first one. And it's basically gonna be a time where you guys are texting back and forth, and maybe you ask her what she wants, and she's gonna give you an answer like, oh, I don't know. She'll look at you when she says this, and when she looks at you, she is asking you to make a decision. How are you going to handle this? What are you going to do? And if in that moment, you can't make a decision, you're fumbling around, you're like, oh, well, would you like this? Would you like that? Would, how about this? No, she doesn't want to make a decision. No decisions here. You make the decision, and good or bad, you freaking stick with it. I remember uh, I had a client who uh, was in this exact situation. You know, he uh, they're walking around, they're just doing their walk in a park, and he's like, hey, do you wanna go get ice cream? She's like, I don't know. And he's like, well, maybe there's, uh, we could go get a drink. She's like, um, yeah, maybe, I don't know. He's like, well, maybe we could go get some food. You want some food? She's like, maybe, I don't know. And so he comes to me and he's like, she just didn't know what to do. Like, why can't women make up their mind? <laughs> Look, man, I I'm quite sure this woman knew what she wanted. And she didn't care whether it was ice cream, drinks, or food. She wanted to see her man be a man. And unfortunately, in that moment, she lost a little bit of respect for him because he couldn't make a decision. If he had just said, hey, listen, you're gonna love this ice cream, it's gonna be amazing, and then just went to it. And then if she said maybe, oh, like, you know, maybe I'm vegan or I can't eat dairy or whatever, then, okay, then you don't take her to ice cream, take her to something else. But the fact that he made a decision is infinitely better than continually asking for permission. Women don't like thinking. I've said this a lot of times in my Instagram and on YouTube. I said, thinking is bad. When they're with their man, they don't wanna think. They don't wanna come up with a plan. All of that stuff dries them up like crazy. So what you gotta do is you gotta make a decision. And look, sometimes it might not be the perfect decision. And that's okay. Planning ahead, getting better at this stuff, you'll learn to make better decisions but it's infinitely better to make one and stick to it than it is to constantly be looking at her and trying to get her to decide and tell you what to do. Women do not want to tell you what to do. They want you to figure it out. And that's why I have my channel, to help you guys do that. All right, cool. So from these tests, you guys have seen some commonalities. Number one, do not react. Reacting when you get one of these tests is bad. In fact, that's why I recommend that you don't even think about them as tests at all. Anytime you think about this as like, oh, uh, she's giving me a test right now, what's the appropriate response? You're gonna start freaking out and you're gonna start reacting. That is not what I want you to do. Most of these tests, I actually had to look up because I didn't know what tests there were out there. What I know is things that women will do and how to act. I don't think of them as tests. I just think of them as like, this is how to act like a man. And most of the time, it involves being non-reactive, it involves being relaxed and confident, it involves knowing what to do and going for it. Not knowing what to do, knowing what you want and going for it. And finally, at the end of the day, knowing that even if you don't like the test, even if you don't like what she's doing, you have the ability to walk away. You don't have to put up with these things, you guys. Just because it's a test, just because it's this thing, that's why I don't like to think of them as tests is because if you start thinking about them like that, then it's like, oh, I have, if I don't play, then I failed. Nuh-uh, you can walk away. You can walk away at any time. I know there's good, there's always a comment uh, for one of these videos that says, oh, but like, you know, we shouldn't have to play all these games. Dating should be easy. You don't have to play these games, dude. And when you're out in the real world and you start going for the things that you want and having self-respect for yourself, you'll naturally pass a lot of these tests. I'm just giving you the examples that most commonly come up and that most guys get wrong. So the key thing here is to stay grounded within yourself, knowing how to go for what you truly want. And that's what I teach guys to do, is you get help from me, like if you work with me for a few months, you'll pass these with flying colors and not even have to worry about it. Like it won't even be something that you think about. You won't even be looking at the message saying, oh, this is a test, I have to pass it. And you're gonna think of none of that. 
okay? So that's what I work with guys every single day. We train guys to be able to do that sort of stuff. So if you wanna get more help with this, go to getcoachedbyloyd.com, fill out the form, schedule a call with me or a member of my team, and we'll see if we can help you. And above all you guys, any single person who's watching this, you gotta be a part of a community. I have a community, an inner circle with my coaching program, and then I also have a free community that is a school program that you can join as well too, that has a bunch of free lessons on there, all that stuff, more videos, more content, wins from clients, all that stuff. So join the school group, both links are down below. Thanks for watching you guys. Good luck out there.